it's Professor Adam. Let's talk about coordination compounds. So far, we have come across many coordination complexes, such as this nickel complex, which has six identical ammonia ligands within an octahedral geometry. Because all the ligands are the same, there is only one possible arrangement. When we draw out the coordination complexes, it becomes very easy to differentiate them. But drawing them out is time consuming, and so we need a written way to explain the geometry or arrangement of ligands in the complexes. This is referred to as the isomerism, and both complexes here, with the same chemical formula, are isomers of each other. Remember that both of these complexes have an octahedral geometry, but the spatial arrangement of their ligands differ. The molecule on the left has a fac, or facial, geometry, as all the ligands of one type are on the same triangular face. On the right is the complex with mer, or meridonial geometry, with all the ligands of the same type on a line bisecting the molecule or on the meridian. Coordination complexes can also have cis and trans isomerism. The complex on the left is cis with identical ligands on the same side of the molecule. The complex on the right has the same chemical composition but with a different spatial arrangement of ligands. It is trans with identical ligands opposite each other. The cis isomer is called cisplatin and is an important anti-cancer drug on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines, whereas the trans isomer is not as effective. Octahedral complexes can also have cis and trans isomerism, such as that shown here. The complex on the left has cis isomerism, with the identical ligands being beside each other while the complex on the right has trans isomerism, and the chlorine ligands are opposite each other. When there are chelating ligands, such as triethylene, tetraamine, the ligand metal binding sites can happen in different places. When none of the rings are coplanar, this is called an alpha isomer. If two of the rings are coplanar, indicated by those drawn in green, it is a beta isomer. If all the rings are coplanar, as in the third case, again indicated by the green bonds, it is instead a trans isomer as the X ligands are opposite each other. Further to the ring isomers just discussed, complexes can have handedness derived from their multidentate ligands. If the complex with chelating rings is imagined as a propeller, it will move in a certain direction depending on its arrangement of ligands. If an anti-clockwise rotation moves the complex away from the observer, then it is a lambda isomer. If the opposite direction, a clockwise rotation is needed, then it is a delta isomer. A method to aid in this designation is to position the chelate ring in the horizontal plane as the top of the back triangle. Then, determine the direction of rotation for the front triangle to match the rear triangle. If it is anti-clockwise, then it is the lambda isomer, and if it is clockwise, it is the delta isomer. Beyond geometric isomers, there are also constitutional isomers where the chemical composition of the system is the same, but their positions are different. Solvent isomers are formed when solvent molecules interchange with ligands within the coordination sphere. Ionization isomers occur from interchange of ligands and their charge balancing pairs. Coordination isomers happen when the overall composition of a system is the same, but the coordination of the compounds vary. Linkage isomers occur when there are differences in the way ambidentate ligands bind to the central atom. In the case seen here, both have nitrite ligands, but the compound on the left has N binding to the central atom and is yellow whereas the compound on the right has O binding and is red. There are several ambidentate ligands that you will regularly meet. Nitrite, thiocyanate, selenocyanate, and sulfite, among others. The binding of these ambidentate ligands is often driven by hard-soft acid-base principles. For example, thiocyanate will bind through the S to soft acid metals and through the N to hard acid metals. Let's check comprehension. 